Welcome to St. Helena Ministries Daily Prayer with the Divine Office. Today is the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is theirs. Their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord, who left the heavens, our life and peace to bring, to dwell in lowliness with men, their pattern and their king. Still to the lowly soul he doth himself impart, and for his dwelling in his throne chooseth the pure in heart. Lord, we seek thy presence. May may, May ours this blessing be. Give us a pure and lowly heart, a temple fit for thee. He asked to share your life, O Lord, and you have heard his prayer. You have clothed him with glory and great beauty. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the king. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessing to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He asked to share your life, O Lord, and you have heard his prayer. You have clothed him with glory and great beauty. The path of the just is like the passage of the dawn. It grows from first light to the full splendor of day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The path of the just is like the passage of the dawn. It grows from first light to the full splendor of day. The just man will flourish like the palm tree, he will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. 
See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The just man will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. The Lord led this holy man along a sure path. He showed him the kingdom of God. A reading from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I should like you to know of the grace of God conferred on the churches of Macedonia. In the midst of severe trial, Their overflowing joy and deep poverty have produced an abundant generosity. According to their means, indeed I can testify even beyond their means, and voluntarily they begged us insistently for the favor of sharing in this service to members of the church. Beyond our hopes they first gave themselves to God and then to us by the will of God. That is why I have exhorted Titus, who had already begun this work of charity among you, to bring it to successful completion, that just as you are rich in every respect, in faith and discourse, in knowledge, in total concern, and in the love we bear you, so may you abound in this charity. I am not giving an order, but simply testing your generous love against the concern which others show. You are well acquainted with the favor shown you by our Lord Jesus Christ how for your sake he made himself poor though he was rich, so that you might become rich by his poverty. I am about to give you some advice on this matter of rich and poor. It will help you who began this good work last year, not only to carry it through, but to do so willingly. Carry it through now to a successful completion, so that your ready resolve may be matched by giving according to your means. The willingness to give should accord with one's means, not go beyond them. The relief of others ought not to impoverish you. There should be a certain equality. Your plenty at the present time should supply their need, so that their surplus may one day supply your need, with equality as a result. It is written, He who gathered much had no excess, and he who gathered little had no lack. Thanks be to God who has put an equal zeal for you in the heart of Titus. Not only did he welcome our appeal, but being very eager, he has gone to you freely. We have sent along with him that brother whom all the churches praise for his preaching of the gospel. He has been appointed our traveling companion by the churches, and we willingly carry on this work of charity for the glory of the Lord. There is one thing I wish to avoid, namely, any blame over my handling of this generous collection. We are concerned not only for God's approval, but also for the good esteem of men. We have sent along that brother whose eagerness has been proved to us in many ways. He is now more eager than ever for this work because of his great trust in you. As for Titus, he is my companion and fellow worker in your behalf. Our brothers, too, are apostles of the churches, the glory of Christ. Therefore, show these men the proof of your love and why we boast about you, for all the churches to see. You are well aware of the generosity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, he he became poor for your sake, so that through his poverty you might become rich. He emptied himself, assuming the condition of a slave, so that through his poverty you might become rich. A reading from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Defer to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be submissive to their husbands as if to the Lord, because the husband is the head of his wife, just as Christ is the head of the body of his body, the church, as well as its Savior. 
As the church submits to Christ, so wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. He gave himself up for her to make her holy, purifying her in the bath of water by the power of the word, to present to himself a glorious church, holy and immaculate, without stain or wrinkle or anything of that sort. Husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Observe that no one ever hates his own flesh. No, he nourishes it and takes care of it as Christ cares for the church, for we are members of his body. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cling to his wife, and the two shall be made into one. This is a great foreshadowing. I mean that it refers to Christ and the church. Be pure and intent of heart, bent on him, the Holy One, who has called you. Be holy in all you do. I am your own God, your Lord. Be holy, for I am holy. Be holy in all you do. Let us pray. God our Father, you alone are holy. Without you, nothing is good. Trusting in the prayers of Saints Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, we ask you to help us to become the holy people you call us to be. Never let us be found undeserving of the glory you have prepared for us. We ask th this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. Thank you for praying with me today. Don't forget to check out our website for the information about our retreat that's upcoming on September 7th. Don't all, please also join us for our Sunday Rosary live stream. It's at 6 Eastern every Sunday on our YouTube channel. That link is in the episode description. Please also like, share, follow, and subscribe on whichever platforms you use. Pray for us and know of our continued prayers for you. Have a blessed day.